Ja, und somit herzlich willkommen zurück zu den Invincible. Ich habe bemerkt. Shit, ich muss kurz laden. Ja, und somit herzlich willkommen zurück zu den Invincible. Ich habe vorhin gemerkt, dass wir, glaube ich, immer noch drei Enten haben, die wir aus dieser Position hier starten können. Und ich wage jetzt einfach mal die Versuche. In der Hoffnung, dass noch was anderes daraus entsteht. Mal schauen. Condor, are you there? This is the commander of the IC Dragonfly Unit, Astrogator Novel. I'm here, Astrogator. Unfortunately, I don't have good news. The Cyclops got out of control. What do you mean? Just like the other machines. Now, it'll wander around aimlessly. Or even worse. I had a feeling would end like this. Do you know what Rehitra is planning now? I have no idea. Well, then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novel, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor Cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all this? Rohitra, Engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> Playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most specialized ones. That's why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only pure energy. What? A nuclear weapon? Seriously? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh. That's quite an arsenal. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. An amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads. To start with. And then? We'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rehitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. They all deserve better than this. I know you understand. You like me. You would do anything for your crew. Wir müssen uns diesmal ziemlich raushalten. Brache oder nicht, die Woge bedroht die Menschheit. Durch Rache werden wir kein Leben retten können. I understand how you feel. But you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. And probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like 
Whipping the ocean for sinking the ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes, we won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non sentient as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? Ich möchte eigentlich das gleiche Ende haben, dass er die Waffen hier zünden will und wir ihn dann betäuben. Aber wie bin ich dahin gekommen? Rahitra, you have no idea what we're up against. These mechanisms are just doing what they did a millennia ago. And we were the ones that provoked them. What? How? By coming here with all our gear, blasters, transmitters, rockets. It's like kicking a hornet's nest. They've faced countless species over millions of years. At this scale, humanity is just a blip to them. Wait. What species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict. Both living organisms and mechanical creators of the cloud, as well as other products of dead evolution. The list is quite long. Hang on. Creators? Yes. Millions of years ago, someone must have built primordial mechanisms. Machines could have self-built in successive generations. But something must have created them first. I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for all this. <sighs> How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. <sighs> I'm sorry, but I don't know if there's any point in discussing this further. In short, we are facing an entity that has triumphed over countless adversaries, both organic and mechanical ones. I see no point in prolonging this discussion. For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us than to them. But how else do you imagine defeating the Cloud? Well, that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir, do you agree? Well... Yeah, I very much agree. Another attack would make no difference. Just a few flies are enough for the cloud to regenerate. What if we destroy their nests? No, Rehitra. Unless we want to destroy the entire planet, it's impossible to eliminate them all. And even then, there's no guarantee they would die in space. After all, the flies need nowhere, water or food, only solar energy. Huh. But what else could we do if not attack? Okay, ich habe die falschen Sachen ausgewählt, glaube ich. We can leave this place and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You on the other hand? I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rahitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! Okay. You won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. We'll only needlessly draw the cloud's attention. And I won't have you endanger my subordinates. Oh, good one. 
I wasn't the one who sent her to the surface of this shithole of a planet. Yes, yes, I admit. We've all made mistakes. Place too much trust in our blasters and sensors in our protective fields. Now we're suffering the consequences. However, we must be aware that we are facing a problem that renders our ambitions irrelevant. What ambitions are you raving about, Novik? Maybe I can't come up with a million smart-sounding arguments, but I know it's the right move. Now give me a second. I have to finish this. Stop arguing. But Doctor... No, Astrogator. You can't always get your way. And you, Bahitra, blow up this cloud yourself and the entire planet if you want. Just let me fly away first. Can you at least do that for me? Yes, I'll wait. Okay, I'll try to see if we can get the return when we're here. But there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. <laughs> Astrogator likes big ships. <laughs> right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is open. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Okay, interessant, dass da auch wieder ein anderes Gespräch kommt. Ich wollte eigentlich abwarten, bis er vielleicht hier einen Knopf drückt und wir ihn dann betäuben können. Aber man muss das machen, wenn der hier ist. Okay, gut zu wissen. Und jetzt kommen wir wieder zu einem anderen Ende. Was ich eigentlich nicht machen wollte. Aber auch da gibt es noch ein zweites Ende. Daher ganz okay. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rehitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a safe flight, Yasna. Your Commonwealth ain't all that bad. Du musst das nicht tun, Rehitra. Aber du wirst es. Nicht verstehst. Gute Reise wünsche ich dir. Gute Reise. Aber. Wait yes, a second. Sir. Can you hear me? Yes. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Wait a okay. second. I can still make it in time. You don't think Behitra will start firing without warning, do you? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Oh no. I see Hopper. Almost there. Das andere Ende konnte man also nur bei einem anderen Speicherstand machen, wo man die Fliegen dabei hatte. Shit. Ich wollte das noch ausprobieren. Beim ersten Ende hatten wir ja ein Gefäß mit Fliegen dabei. Und das habe ich dann hier gelassen. Aber mich hätte interessiert, was passiert wäre, wenn wir das mitgenommen hätten. Aber das geht leider gar nicht. Are you ready? I'll just close the hatch and... Doch. And what? Okay, ich hab's weggeworfen. Dann würde ich's diesmal behalten. Never mind. I'm gonna strap myself in now. Und schauen, was passiert. Ready. I made it. Copy that. Vielleicht macht's auch gar keinen Unterschied. Two, one. Oh no, we hit just started the attack. Shit, radiation's rising rapidly. EM field two, we might get cut off. I repeat, we might get cut off. Game created by Star Wars Industries. Mann. Ich hab's jetzt schon ein paar Mal gesagt. 
wie gut das Spiel auch sein mag. Ich finde es wirklich sehr gutes Spiel. Aber die Enden lassen mich ziemlich kalt. Es steht einfach so viel im Raum, was nicht aufgelöst wird. Da fehlt einfach immer irgendwas. Game published by 11-Bit Studios. Ich meine, der, er hat jetzt einen Angriff gestartet. Der Kontakt ist abgebrochen zu Novik. Aber... Was ist passiert? Haben wir es überlebt? Sind wir zurück zur Station gekommen? Was ist mit den Fliegen passiert, die wir mitgenommen haben? Es sind so viele Fragen über Fragen. Und ich schätze mal nicht, dass es von diesem Spiel einen zweiten Teil geben wird. Weil es ja von einem Roman ist. Und es gibt ja auch nur einen Roman, soweit ich weiß. Ich weiß nicht. Die Enten lassen mich ja ziemlich grübeln. Weil so viel offen steht. Ich, wie gesagt, ich finde das Spiel unglaublich gut. Aber die Enten sind einfach immer so ein knallharter Abschnitt. Und ich finde das nicht gut. I'm sorry, aber ich finde es nicht gut. Naja. Somit hätten wir also dieses Ende auch. Und äh, ja. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und bis zum nächsten Mal. Es werden glaube ich noch zwei Videos folgen wenn ich das richtig im Kopf habe. Und wir sehen uns dann wieder. Haut rein. Tschüss.